30 ain't that bad, y'all. Just don't let it get to you. I'm trying to tell you right now. It's not that bad. What up, world? It's your girl, Tisha, and I'm back with another video. Back with another video. And You already know what I'm finna talk about because you saw the thumbnail and you saw the title. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and like this video up, tap the post notification bell. Do that for me. Okay. Just gonna hop right into this video. I'm not gonna make no long intro. How I feel about turning 30. Mm, mm, mm. Da, da, da. People always look at 30 as this bad thing and I never understood why. You always hear people like, oh, turning 30, I'm officially old now, or I ain't got my life together and I'm turning 30, like I'm, I'm not doing enough. I should have been this and I should have been that and blah, 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 blah. I looked at 30 as a new beginning I turned 30 in October of 2018 and it's weird because it was at a time that I was just emotionally everywhere. It was a very weird time in my life. I still saw the good in turning 30. Like I was excited. I was ready to get out my 20s. Like my 20s was like. God, like I was ready to go I was ready to let go I was like done I couldn't take no more I literally got beat up in my 20s my 20s beat my tail <gasps> trying to tell you but for me turning 30 was a very 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 fresh start for me emotionally physically because I I always feel like I take okay care of my body but I just felt this urge that I need to really really take care of myself because I could tell that physically like I was like I wasn't feeling like myself like I was sick and not only from just the foods that I eat, but the people I had in my life. Um, and I noticed that way before I turned 30. I noticed that like early January of last year. And I started, you know, staying in the house more. And I wanted to focus on school. I was in school. I had to focus on that. I was getting my master's degree. That was another reason that I just felt like I need to be in the house. I need to tunnel vision. I need to get this done and free myself from distractions. But emotionally, physically, um, mentally, I just felt like I needed a fresh start. And it was so many things that contributed to me feeling that way and it's just been like that through my whole I want to say my whole basically my whole life because <laughs> I've had ooh, ups and downs people in and out um, so many experiences but when I right before I turned 30 I started going through this emotional cleanse that I did not sign up for let me just throw that out there I did not sign up for this emotional cleanse I don't know where it came from I have been following astrology a little bit more and like spirituality and all that type of stuff because I'm not religious I really believe in more in spirituality than religion like I started going through this emotional cleanse and it just came out of nowhere but I felt compelled for whatever reason to go with it and I'm still going through it today and it's has not been pretty at all might I add 
if you want a story time on this emotional cleanse i am more than open to discuss it so comment down below it has been up and down and ooh, it's not been pretty i'm talking snot nose puffy eyes all of that but i can say i'm in a very very good place a very good place i'm at peace for the first time in my life and i'm not going to do anything to disrupt that peace or allow people to come in my life and disrupt that peace so 30 has been so far as my first couple of months into being 30 it's actually even through all the the emotions that I have been going through it has been very 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 beneficial because I now know who I want in my life and who I don't want in my life as far as the type of person and I know that the people that I do have in my life currently which is not many I got like a sister and my husband and my kids and then like two or three other people and that's about it and yeah it's tough but it's been so worth it but I'm trying to like stay on track but it's hard because my mind is everywhere so forgive me if this is like all over the place because I'm trying to like condense it so I'm not talking so much 30 is not that bad guys I'm just telling you from my experience it's not that bad if you look at it from a positive thing rather than a negative thing I get that society throws out there that you're supposed to you're supposed to be married you're supposed to have kids you're supposed to have a car a house you're supposed to have a, a you know a high paying job and for people my age the in this day and time that is not realistic it is not realistic at all it is not realistic due to the fact that they pushed going to college on you and you go to college and you get this degree and are like, oh, you, you know, I know you paid, you know, thousands of dollars for hundreds, hundreds of thousands of dollars sometimes to get this degree. But we're only going to pay you like $10 an hour. Oh, where? Oh, so what was the point of me getting a degree? What was the point? What was the point? And you get these degrees they don't want to pay you nothing or they don't want to hire you so you have a degree but you're spending all this time looking for a job and nobody wants to hire you because your age or because yeah you got this degree but you need this degree too in order to get it society makes it hard for 30 somethings these days to feel like they've accomplished anything because it's like oh why don't you have this and why don't you have that why are you still living with a roommate why are you still living at home with your parents well because this society I went through that I remember when me and my husband were 25 and when we were like 21 20, 21, we just knew by 25, we was going to have a house. We was going to be financially stable. We was going to be able to get our kids just everything. And that did not happen by 25. That did not happen by 25. We went through periods where we were, you know, we were struggling a little and then we get to a place where we're great like we're like yes and then stuff will happen and now we're back down and then we're back up and it's like yes like we doing good we about to yes like oh uh, and then and I look back and I see why 
and it goes back to my emotional cleanse. Like I said, if you want a story time on that, you gotta comment down below and I'll give it to you, okay? But it's like, I wasn't taught a lot of things. So, and he, my husband wasn't taught a lot of things either. So we're growing up together because we met when we were 17, well, 18, 19. We had a son by 20. We were married by 22. But prior to that, we had no guidance on credit, on how to manage your money, on how to save or any of that type of stuff. We literally figured it out as we went. It was trial and error for us through our whole 20s. And... I can say that now we've learned so much and imagine doing that while you're young you trying to figure out all this stuff we're building this life together while still trying to figure out ourselves as individuals and trying to bring all of that into one that's a lot on a relationship the good thing is that we made it because we're just the type of people, one, we not gonna argue. Two, we are very open-minded to the fact that you're an individual, I'm an individual, and we have our own individual things going on in our head, in our own separate families, things that happened in our past that we're trying to now navigate through and figure out like, oh, like, like, how can I not let this affect me anymore? So, yeah. I say all of this to say that 30 is not that bad. It's really not. I look at it as more positive than negative because 30 is not old. You don't have to have it figured out by 30. You don't have to you don't have to have it figured out by 35 you figure it out when you figure it out your time will come you just have to change your mindset basically trust me I'm telling you this is not that bad I don't have a lot but what I can say is I have a peace of mind I have peace in my life and I have great people surrounding me that push me and support me in the best ways ever yeah 30 ain't that bad, y'all. Just don't let it get to you. I'm trying to tell you right now. It's not that bad. You don't have to have it figured out by 25. You don't have to have it figured out by 30. If you don't get that college degree to you 40, it's still an accomplishment. If you don't get a good job to you turn 35, it's still an accomplishment. Do you live your life the way you want to live it? Figure out yourself, figure out where you want to be, and align yourself with that. Think of positive thoughts. Positive vibes only. Positive vibes only. 30 for me has been really good. It's been a learning curve because a lot of things happened around the time that I was going to turn 30. But that's what God had for me. So if you're about to turn 30, if you already turned 30 and you just feel lost in the sauce, I'm here to tell you it's not that bad. Take a deep breath, let it out, and live the way you need to live, and the way you want to live. And do you, boo? Okay? Okay? Okay. Okay. So, that is my story time for today. Like I said, if you want to me to do a story time on my journey through this emotional cleanse and <clears throat> and my growth over the past like year, comment down below and let me know. My hands is ashy little bit look at that look so if you're not subscribed to my channel make sure you guys subscribe like this video up and tap the post notification bell so you get notified when I post new videos okay, okay, okay.
Love you.